Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy and I am playing on my public server where I am over by the stronghold entrance that we have made over here. I think probably could use a little bit of an overhaul because last time I was trying to get a whole bunch of equipment from end cities and um... I mean, it didn't go too well, did it? Let, let, let's be honest, it could have gone a lot better. Oh man, look at this. Yeah, maybe maybe this whole place just needs a little bit of a spritz at some point. But I've come back a little bit better equipped this time because I'm I'm not I'm not giving up. The, the, it was a good plan. It was a solid plan. I just very very poorly executed it last time. So let, let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. Uh, I've also spent a little bit of time in between the episodes uh, in the creative world trying to figure out how I can combine the two flying machines that I had, the ice bridge maker and the on-offable switch. Uh, and I, I think I've got that nailed, so we can definitely carry on once we've got to our destination. You know, I, I set this up for a, a quick little jump cut to the end city down the end here. Uh, that That's going to be like a, a you know, a, a microsecond thing to you guys. But to me, this, this, there's a long run. Look, look how far, it just disappears. It just goes. Okay, having a look at this end city, I can only see like one of what I'm calling treasure rooms at the top of the pillars here. I'm not sure if maybe there's another chest in that one there. We might go up and have a look though. I'm not really looking to take too many risks. Uh, if it was just a straight up and down end city, I would totally... Oh good, my potions box is, box is still over there. That's that's, that's going to be very, very helpful. If it was a straight up and down one, I would actually be tr trying to climb it with some water buckets, but I've got a whole bunch of scaffold on me and I just need to make sure that I don't fall down any giant holes because that's that's exactly how I died last time okay so like here's the big hole let's let's not try and fall down there shall we that that would be very handy uh which way are we gonna go if I could go up off the top of this little post that would be good I mean I could climb up and go on the underside but I don't think that's the way I'm actually gonna do it a uh, little bit of water parkour I think would go down really well in the end but you know I brought all of these scaffold with me should we go up here I'm, I'm i'm worried about falling off and losing all my stuff to the void you know that that's totally a thing that can happen and of course there are shulkers on the outside of these buildings they're just not so obvious okay how does a stack look in comparison how far are we going to be climbing here Ooh, it's it's quite far it's quite far i'm also a little bit worried that maybe I'm going to smash into the side, but I, th I think this should be fine. I think we should be able to climb like this. I also, uh, Prudence suddenly has uh, forced me to think about what happens if an Enderman just happens to walk in front of my line of sight. It's a thing that happens relatively often. They do like to just wander there. Uh, I didn't really need to make it three deep, did I? There we go, something like this. I'm not sure. Wait, how, how am I going to do this? <laughs> complete with an infinite water source all right beautiful that's that's how you keep yourself safe from enderman right there that's that's great that's great okay a few more uh, scaffold on this and then we're gonna go see if we can i mean let's let's, let's go up now uh, i'm going to drink a potion of invisibility i think i think that would be smart yeah, you, you can't tell, I can't tell. Will the shulkers tell? That is the question. Uh, normally there's a range of like seven blocks or something like that. Maybe two blocks if you're completely um, naked as I am. Yeah, okay, that went well. That went well. They, they, they've opened and closed. I will take an opening and a closing. Uh, I'm also facing the wrong way right now. <laughs> The noises are definitely terrifying. Oh, I was a little bit short, but I think we can just sneak on in there. Look at that, conquering the end city without having to face all of this terribleness in there. Fortune shovel, um, I mean, I'll take the pick most definitely. Well, let's be honest. I'm gonna take it all. And in the other side over here, uh, I mean, boots to a uh, Frostwalker boots. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure about the, the, the iron pickaxe. Smite and looting though, yes, this, this is one of the major things I was after, a decent sword. Now if we could just get enough armor, do I, I'm going to break this, terrifying, absolutely, oh look, there's my blocks, this is the one that I died in. <laughs> okay, next question, can I make it over this way and see what's in, okay, that, that far. 
How about if I leave water here? Would I be... Oh, hello! Are you okay, sir? Can I help you at all? What happens if I do this? Okay, goodbye. Okay, kind of scary. Kind of scary. But can I now build a little scaffold tower off here? Alright, this, this is how we're going to make it around. I don't know what I'm going to do about this guy. Can we just encourage him to go? Can we encourage him to go further? Coming up the corners here. Do you see me? Go away. Uh, okay, th th this is fine. I'm not sure. Whoa, that's a bit close. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any treasure here, but this is the one I'm here to check. Gold. Okay, I mean, cool. And an iron. I mean, I'll take I'll take these armors for now. Oh, one of them spotted me. One of them spotted me. I'm out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave it out, mate. Got it. Let's uh, get rid of him. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. It's all fine. I think I now have plundered all there is really to plunder. I don't think there's any more chests in like these rooms here. I can't... Oh, maybe there is. Oh no, that's the one I just came out of. That, that's fine. Uh, I meant like these rooms over here. There's none in that one, none in that one. Uh, I don't think there's any underneath either to worry about. That one might, but I just don't think it does. I wonder whether I can make it through the city or not. This might be this might be the bad idea. This might this might be the one that kills me. But I think with the bucket of water, I should be able to make my way all the way through. This that, that water might make it interesting on the way back. But I want to know if there's anything in here. I've got I've got to know. Uh, so far, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does, does the water keep it at bay? Kind of. Kind of. No. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, how, how many have we got here? Just the one, and I'm not seeing that. No, there's two. There's two. More importantly, I'm not... Oh, no. This is it. This is it. I think, actually, I'm okay. As long as I sit here just for a second. I'm going to break the wall. And I'm going to just walk on out. No loot. Oh, look, look at that guy there. He knows. When I'm a little bit more kitted out after this process, I will definitely come through and grab all of the shulkers out of here. But for now, I think the scaffold tower announces my uh, my presence here. Okay, not too bad. For the price of one invisibility potion, I managed to get myself a fire protection helmet, some frost walker boots, a diamond pickaxe and iron pickaxe, and a good iron sword with smite, a uh, good diamond sword, sorry, with a smite on it. Smite's pretty good when you just fight PvE. Like, I believe Enderman encounters undead so th these this would be pretty good against them i don't think shulkers count though Okay, the fear of using a contraption for the first time is upon me. I literally have no idea how long this setup with the fence gate and the slime block will hold the armor stand in place for you. Are we cool? Are we cool, bro? Okay, I think we're cool. I think we're cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that at some point this is I'm going to shoot forwards and I'm going to watch it disappear off into the void. Or at some point I'm going to notice there's not any ice left this guy's really freaking me out there's not going to be any light ice left and we're going to have left the uh the the armor stand behind i think i would find that one mildly preferable but we do have uh more frost walker boots that we have found okay is there anything in here i need to take with me there's there's the frost walker boots and a, a shulker shell you know i think i think we can combine these things Okay, dumping almost everything that I don't think I need into the shulker. That, that, that seems like a safe way of going about it. Uh, I, I guess we're just ready to test this and move. 
Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's simple. You get you get in the the minecart and you put. I am so terrified about this, and we just go right. Oh, why didn't it go? I have a safety furnace. That that's that was smart. That was smart when I was putting it together. A little bit inconvenient afterwards, but that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm I'm glad that the safety systems worked. Okay, let's try again, and away we go. Okay, ice appears to be appearing down there. It's a little bit hard to tell. It's a little bit hard to tell, but I believe ice is appearing. Let's let's stop. Let's see if the system can handle a stop. Okay, looking good. So no, no. Oh no! What? What? How did you get left behind? No, that's even worse. Oh, that is that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. <laughs> okay, how do I get into the? Oh, I've got, I'm gonna die and lose all my stuff. We we all know what's gonna happen here. We all know. Oh no! Rip. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what happened there. I, I wonder. Hopefully, replay has the answer. Not the death. I I I know why I died there. I, I got in, got in the way of a slime block being pushed, and I got thrown off. I, I I knew it was bad when I was trying to get up. I don't even know why I did it. But why the armor stand got dropped? I should have put that shulker box away. I should have made everything safe. I don't know why I'm not doing the ultra safe plays here. I just I should know better. <laughs> Well, I think it's safe to say I uh, acted in panic and without too much thought there. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a shame that I did so, especially as the long walk back has given me time to reflect on my actions and wh what I've seen in the replay. I, I don't, I still actually honestly don't know why this just fell through and why it didn't turn it into frost walk, uh, into frosted ice. If I put the boots on myself and go for a little bit of a walk up here, we can really see the true cost of my fault. Look, look, look at this. I, I didn't need to try swimming after it at all. Oh, man, hindsight's amazing, but uh, it's not so great when you uh, have lost all your stuff. Maybe maybe the, the, the distance here is uh, giving me a clue. That's only three. Maybe we were too far away. Maybe, well, the, the, the armor stand was too far away. Ah, how do I get under this? How do I get under it? Also, did I just re take the water out of existence? That might be a thing that just happened. Okay, I'm just gonna store the armor stand here and uh, let's let's go for a little swim. I can't believe I'm doing this. Let, let's go and see what is going on over here. Where does the ice end? Okay, cool. So, all right, it is pretty bad, but we could just do this and this and we fixed that. We then need to figure out where three blocks away from this water is. One, two, so we actually need the armor stand stood inside this slime block. But even still, why didn't it happen when we were further away? I do not understand. Okay, let's uh, prime some systems here. Be very careful. Every time this has gone wrong so far, it's because I have walked on the wrong side of the minecart and ended up pushing it in the wrong direction. Okay, the stakes feel a lot higher now as uh, we are over the void. Ooh, and I'm starting to run out of uh, Frostwalker boots, so let's not let's not put my armor stand to risk right now. Let's get back in there. Uh, I'm just gonna switch on over, and we're gonna we're gonna push the water up over this way. We're still making continuous water sources, and I can just walk the Frostwalker boots back, so that that shouldn't be a problem. Like I'll find a way down there, put the boots on. I've got two. Uh, two buckets if I manage to delete the water source somehow and then from there I will figure out how to solidify the water behind us hopefully that's not a thing that will uh, melt on and then then I can figure out what's going on with a little bit of platform under us so we don't immediately lose the frost walker boots it's my biggest fear right there losing losing the frost walker boots okay so we could drop down to here okay this is this is fine if I put these on and then just have a little walk Ooh. Okay, I ruined stuff, but it's not the end of the world. Do I need to now move through a block? Ah, okay, that's interesting, but we should have fixed that particular pulsing issue. Am I going to be able to get around this? Let's swim. Let's take these off and swim. <laughs> okay, I managed to get these back on. 
please don't break. Okay, well, the water's disappeared, but that's fine. That's something that we can live with. So, the, yeah, the updating water flow is causing issues there. But we should be able to just completely fix this bridge up now. I do enjoy watching water flow when you take away all the sources and then, like, this massive curtain that you've built up just disappears. It's great. Uh, particular things to note to watch out for are like uh, the edge over by the island as it drains away. It makes nice little patterns because it's uh, all irregular over there. Of course the top of the water has a nice little step structure to it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice just watching Minecraft water do its thing when it's flowing in big number. I think we're now at the point where if I fall in the water, I am doomed. There is no overhangs to uh, to, to swim up to. Yeah, terrifying times, really. Speaking of which, we should really think about some sort of railing for this. Like, many times I've now had to walk back along the ice road. It's terrifying. And if there was railings, we could totally put a boat on, on here. Boat, boats go really well with ice. Okay, my first attempt at a fix is to put the armor stand the other side of the slime blocks. We've got an acacia gate up front. It's the same acacia gate that we had that the uh, the piston was pushing against. So hopefully no block limit problems there. Let's put that back. Oh, this is this is mildly terrifying. We're gonna we're gonna go literally like three blocks or something and see what happens. Let, let let's do this. We're gonna go one. Did that just put everything together? Let, let's go again. Oh, I'm noticing no water. Where's the water? Everything's locked up. Why? What's happened? Ah, ah. All right. I see. I see the problem. So the uh, the slime block stuck to the observer. I bet I could move. No, we can't. Hmm. Almost an entire week and a whole bunch of bug fixing later, I have found out the problem. So it turns out there is actually a bug, uh, MC199481. When an armor stand is pushed by a piston over water, it will not spread the frosted ice uh, enchantment for some reason. Nobody really seems to know why. People are saying that using slime blocks works, but let's go down to what is actually my, my real testing site down here. Yeah, I told you, it's been about a week. There have been many iterations over here you would have thought this system would have worked fine look slime block pushing the armor stand going forwards let's uh, let's take a little ride shall we uh, I think you can tell by my slightly sarcastic tone that uh, actually this is not yeah we watched it go did you just watch it disappear yeah for some reason not working at all so the water didn't fall through but you know it started off fine let me tell you that it would not work there's very various situations of trying different ways of doing this getting um, things in different orders even going back to the situation here this is the original ice machine that we uh, we were using we found online to put that down so this this works for some reason but if i try and hook it up oh hello there we go that's that's cool that that's what i'm trying to stop is uh so when we stop it and move it we could we'll not have the uh, armor stand flown around everywhere but if we uh, push that with the machine either this races off all on its own and this machine locks up or this just pulses weirdly it's very inconsistent i think is what i'm trying to say there so i came up with this beast it really is an absolute beast of a machine uh armor stand inside little ring of slime blocks it is the only consistent way i've been able to get it to move uh and and not be horrifically janky uh i've got a bit of a wider trough of water at the front here this 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 was a nightmare to try and put together um and then a little on off at the back here. We should be able to just ride this. You might notice that it's not not spill proof. I, it's my greatest shame at the moment. It really is. I, I tried so hard. Uh, I need to get this armor stand one further forward for it to not spill out here. And this this kind of doesn't matter. Uh, you can kind of see that it's not. This this whole thing here hasn't flowed backwards, right? You, you see, it's got, we've not got this step system going on. I, I don't know why this singular column is different, but it is, so, so that's good. Uh, this is just another uh, copy over here that I was using to try and shrink the machine. So yeah, what I was trying to say is uh, I'm, I've, I've got a bigger machine. We're going to build a bigger bridge. And so we're ready for the next terrifying installment of how is this machine that's about to build a bridge also going to throw Twitchy into the void? I'm not sure how it's going to happen, but we know it will. Quick breakdown of the machine. we got water at the front, the pushing of the water device here. Uh, this carries the, uh, the, the armor stand with the 
frosted ice boots on, which should turn a portion of this water, now three wide, into ice as we're going. The only thing really left to do here is to jump on board and throw a cart down. I am legitimately nervous about this experience. I, I So far, I wasn't expecting this episode to turn either into as much death by void as it has been, though that was kind of expected, but I wasn't expecting me to build this whole new flying machine here. It just seems a little overkill, right? Anyway, now that the piston has been pushed out, the system is primed. We're going to jump inside the machine. I think I've only got stuff that I can lose to the void, which is good, right? Uh, and let, 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 Let's get rolling forwards. Let's see if uh, any problems happen here. At least now we can see when the system is working, and I think that system is working beautifully. So I guess all that I can do now is just kind of chill out and... Um, let this let this little bad boy roam. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the system. I'm gonna stop, and we're gonna see what happens when we stop. Does has anything broken? Is there anything to worry about? We've got water. We've got iron. Uh, we've got the armor stand iron. What am I on about? Uh, and we've still got a good flow going. I I think. I think we just need to move. Our next target has been acquired with a ship, no less. That's probably where we're gonna go first. Looks like I can probably go in there for a uh, for a chest. I think there's probably some treasure in that one there. I don't think there's any in any other rooms. I've got the scaffold upon me. I have got some uh, some water buckets, and I can go and get some potions outside of my ender chest, which I will do. Uh, unfortunately, we can't move the the, uh, the the vessel on anymore at the moment. You see this slime block here and you see these end rods uh, end stone sorry right there uh they interact and cause the whole machine to to freeze up we can't go any further and uh i broke my pickaxe and i'm not i'm not gonna stand here for however i mean like look how long this is already taken and how many blocks are there further down to do i mean that's like i'm, I'm gonna go with at least 10 maybe maybe even more so it's, it's too many it's too many is what i'm trying to say and that ugh, it's just too long to go for we're going to backtrack just a little bit and come over here where some of the land... I think there is a, a constant bridge going between. I, I hope that's the case. So I'm going to make a small station here for getting on and off. We nearly got pushed all the way out of the water. That would have been quite awkward. And uh, at the moment, this this is what my stations look like. Maybe, maybe we'll come up with a better idea later on. I'm just going to slam this guy. I don't, know. I don't have a silk touch pick at the moment, so I can't actually go ahead and pick this one back up. But I can use uh, this box here here which I need I've got I mean we're gonna go some scaffolding we're gonna get some more steak out because this is probably gonna be pr troublesome I'm not gonna use my golden apple I do however want my potions okay is this brewing stand now also going to be lost to me forever I don't I don't know whether I can bust it with my hand I I'm gonna find out I suppose I mean what, what else am I gonna do leave it behind I mean I could I could leave it behind let's break ourselves a little block here and put down some water I just looked at the other block that's that means this is going to take longer. And three max length potions of invisibility later. I should have everything I need to go and assault this place. Yeah, let's go find out. I've nearly eaten all the rotten flesh that I got from a trip back to the overworld to get more Frostwalker boots. Because this this mission has been cursed and I have lost many Frostwalker boots. So uh, let, let, let's just grab some uh, some chorus fruit to make up for the lack of foodings here now i'm not going to go straight for the ship i am i am really tempted don't get me wrong i am really really tempted but i think instead i'm going to go straight for this place here okay i was a little worried that someone had raided this place before we've got shulkers on the outside so that means that well i mean that probably means someone hasn't been here before there is always a chance always a chance that all they did was fly into the ship and grab that's wrong. That's that's not where we want it. Uh, fly into the ship and grab the elytra. That that could have been a thing that happened if someone was just going around doing an elytra run. Have I got, have I gone and done it again? But I'm hoping that they haven't gone through and stripped out all the chests. At least that 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 would be quite nice. Shulkers opening and closing and lurking. I haven't I haven't drank my invisibility potion yet, so uh, I'm a little bit scared. But I think I think this should work out fairly well. I remember how well it went last time, and I'm hoping that we can. Uh, copy those endeavors okay let's have a look how do i look beautiful naked 
And with a water bucket in hand, twofold reasons. We can use it to get rid of the uh, the shulkers. And also, there's there's a slim chance I could save myself from falling. Uh, we're going to go up to the very top walkway here. It looks like the one that goes into there. No, no, not that one. This one coming up. And uh, hopefully that will be the area where we find all the goodies. Who Who's making them noises? That's there. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. Can I go in through the roof? That would be a lot easier if I can. Mm, I mean, I'm going to have to break one by hand if I'm going to. Terrifying. This place is actually terrifying. Let's, uh, let's just try and punch our way through here. How am I making my way up and down? I think I think water bucket is the way in and out here. Let's have a look. I've come in on top of the on top of the glass. Okay, beautiful. I mean, I suppose this does mean that I am partially protected. That that's good. That's good. Drop in, see what we got. Uh, protection. Ah, yes, yes, love a fortune three. It's not the silk touch that I was looking for, but it is definitely yeah. I'm very happy with the armor. I'm going to break this chest. I've kind of opened the area up a little more, but I'm going to break that chest to just kind of let me know if I'm coming through again that this place has been... Ooh, no, 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 no. This place has been raided. There is a minimum distance which uh, the invisibility works, so I don't want to get that close. Thanks. Are we seeing any more treasure rooms? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, no actual chest in there. All right, fair enough. Ooh, I think there's one. Ooh, ah, I think there's treasure in this room. Oh, that was one too high there. So I'm gonna go check. I don't think there's. There might be. You normally need a third floor, right? That's that's the uh, the difference there. Let's go and have a look. I'm feeling a little exposed because I do know what's lurking down here. That's. That's kind of scary, so we're just going to come round here and have a look at all this gold. Uh, I'm breaking through Curse of Vanishing Hype. I mean, that's a lot of good stuff. No equipment. Well, very little equipment. Okay, that's two floors. I don't think anything's going to be inside the two floor areas. Uh, I, I think that's it now. I'm going to go and have a look, of course. Why would I not? Like, what's what's going on over in this route? This is, this is something I've never seen before. It looks like there was a branch that got interrupted that's interesting let's walk off over this way i've got my bucket of water yeah we can go check we can go check i think i think this should be fine that guy disappears and then this guy teleports away as well we're just looking don't mind me hey okay yeah no i i see no no loop theory confirmed well i mean theory not disproven that's that's kind of all we can hope for I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed about the lack of weapon from that haul, but I feel like we've got a nice uh, set of armors here. That should keep us alive. Well, that is terrifying. Where's the ship? It's up over that way. Be aware of things like great big drops. If, if you don't know why I need to be aware of great big drops, go, go watch last episode. That was uh, hilarious. Yes, we're going to go with hilarious. Enderman do be thwomping. Okay, I've got three minutes left on invisibility. Is that going to be enough? It's taken me five minutes to do what we've been doing so far. I could drink another one, but I think... It, I mean, it's just a bunch of chokers. What, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I start levitating. I throw an ender pearl. We hit the floor. I mean, the worst is that I, I miss with my ender pearl. Or worse yet, hit the side of that. Oh, man, like terrifying i hit the side of one of the islands like that that's actually the worst case scenario there we gonna cross this way i think i'm gonna cross over this way maybe go in through the wall sounds legit to me okay we can see a shulker over there i'm gonna grab some instant health that guy i think we can just water bucket out of our way oh no dude right um up there Okay, that, that solved that particular problem. I like it. I like it a lot. <sighs> this is what it's all about. Got ourselves some elytra. I'm not even going to put them on, but yeah. Oh, oh, well, maybe I'm going to put them on. Uh, diamonds, beautiful. We can make ourselves a diamond sword. Oh, the best helmet ever. Curse of binding with plus protection. Even more curse of vanishing boots. I love it. More pickaxes. No swords, though. No swords. All right, there's one more thing we need from here. There is one more thing. Where, where is it? Hello? Are you? Oh, it's it's down. Wait, 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 wait. I came in the wrong direction. Uh, so this over here, very important. Let's. Ooh, please. It's it's got a small hitbox that it looks. 
But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We have gone out, we have done amazing things. I can make ourselves a, a full set of equipment now. We're going to continue the bridge moving on, but I might just do that in my own time between episodes. I'm going to leave this scaffolding in place to let people know that this has been raided out. But I will see you guys next time when we're going to do a bunch of other things. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!